Diane and Dan work here. <laughs> ra, ra, ra. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Uh, it is Monday morning and you know me, I, I love Mondays, it's like getting a fresh start, you know, putting a new diary or a new uh, pack of pencils. Uh, this week we're in Fly Lady Zone and at Wag at the Sank, we're in Zone 5 which is, <clears throat> you can see behind me, it's the living room if you've got a den, anywhere where the family gathers. And uh, you, you've seen my videos before that this is where my family, where we gather in the evening, once we've um, done dinner cleanup, everybody comes in here and either, you know, we're reading books or on the iPads or watching telly and then we have a cup of tea uh, and some biscuits. So that, that, that's what our family room is. Um, but let me grab my cleaning caddy and also <clears throat> I just want to say to you, once again, I am not getting out my control journal and showing you the detailed cleaning list. Because I know many of you will be like, oh, I have to make the list. Or, you don't have to do any of that. All you're doing with the Fly Lady system is doing something. And I'm being your timer today. I'm going to set my timer. Hold on. And I'll let, me, uh, let me turn the birds down. Tweet and Spark here, our lovebirds. Let me turn them down first. So I'm setting the timer for 10 minutes. And I'm going to clean along with you. And remember, you don't need to go change in your clothes. The, the whole purpose of the Fly Lady system is that because you're cleaning consistently, you can clean in the clothes that you wear every day. And I don't use anything that's toxic. We don't need to use the toxic products anymore because we're cleaning consistently. Do you see how it works? If you do a wee bit all the time, it never gets so bad that you need that really uh, awful stuff and you've got the hazmat suit on. It's not good for, for you or for... <laughs> For the animals or your your kids so I'm, I'm going to be your timer today 10 minutes we're going to do a quick clean in this week's zone which is five the five uh the the family room and then i'm also going to do a five minute declutter because my pamper basket you know the one that lives over there beside my favorite reading chair uh that's got a wee bit messy um over the last month so i'm going to have a wee five minute declutter of that maybe you've got something else to do anyway the main thing is that we get on and we do something. So I'm going to start the timer. There we go. Okay, timer's running. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is feather duster on a stick. Remember, you don't need the same thing as me. This is one of the Fly Lady dusters that I've uh, attached to an old uh, mop handle. So I can, uh, you know, extend it high or if we're getting underneath the furniture. You use what you've got, and I know the dust doesn't spread all over the, the room because somebody asked about that last week. Uh, the feather dust is it's quite static. The dust sticks to it, and then I, I don't shake it out in here. Once I finish my cleaning, I shake it out outside, and that's a really good feeling because you see all the dust coming away. It's one of those, ah, well, one of those little, um, it's like your little reward for doing your cleaning. So anyway, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the ceilings first. Well, let me just get it because we have got. Not high, high ceilings in here, but fairly high. And I'm, I, I always do clockwise, so I remember where I am. You know, I'm post-menopausal, I'm 52, so sometimes my brain goes to mush. There we are, and I'm just going, just a quick dust. And you know, you don't need to be going crazy with this. There we are, From there, come this way. Pop this way. There are quite a lot of spiders uh, right now. We're, we're getting almost to the end of summer here. Here we are, that's that. I'm just staying on top of the bookcases here. We've got bookcases here. I'll turn the camera around at some point. There we are. Actually, it wasn't too bad with the uh, cobwebs. And also, I, I do the corners as well, the corners of the room, I just juke. Right, next I'm going to do the same thing with this, and I'm going to do the skirting boards, or uh, the baseboards. We call them skirting boards in Scotland, and I like that. Like a wee skirt around, around the room. And again, I'm not being obsessive about this and pulling out furniture. If you can pull out furniture if you want, but just please focus on getting the main areas clean, okay? Because we, t we do tend to go down that road of thinking, okay, I'm, I'm finally going to clean it, and then you're pulling out furniture instead of just dusting off the, the flat surfaces. So you, you'll get to that. Right, again. So, 
Look, do you want to see how much dust is collected? You see that there? Ooh, there we are. So just to pr proof that it works. Right, here. Right, boom, boom. Okay, and as I said to you, I will go and shake this outside once we're done. I won't stop to do that right now. Just keep going. Right, next thing from my box of tricks. Remember, you don't need any special cleaning equipment. I, I like to keep in my little, uh, this is a little IKEA caddy. Just because it's easy. I move it from zone to zone. Like this week we're in f uh, zone five. Uh, last week we're in zone four. So I just kept it in the bedroom for zone four. So it kind of moves around the house. Right, um, handheld dusting mitt. And I'm going to dust off the flat surfaces. I don't use any product because can't really think why I would need it. We're just dusting off. Uh, but I'll put a wee bit of polish on the coffee table because that gets a lot of use, um, you know, where we put our, our cups for our cup, it's cups of tea. And if it sits, there's probably quite a few crumbs there. Right, all crumbs. <laughs> what did the elephant say when it stepped on the biscuit? Oh, crumbs, that was one of my dad's old jokes. Right, I'm gonna, uh, hold on, let me turn you around. I'll turn you around this way uh, so that you can also see me doing the windows. I'm going to dust off the flat surfaces and here is a, on the top of the piano, I've got a job, this is going to be one of the jobs that I do when I'm sitting having my cup of tea tonight. Uh, a button came off of my, um, my, my basic blue stretchy um, trousers. So that, that's going to go right on the footstool here, so I remember to do that tonight. Well, was the button. Remember, don't do it. Let these things, uh, you know, you put them aside and think, oh, I'll do that. Make sure you get it done, okay? Because, and if you're not going to sew on the button, then move for, forward with things. And I'm just going to dust off. And you don't need to take everything off. Just give it a quick dust. basket here this is where uh, you've seen the, this basket when when we're I do my um, library videos this is where I keep all the library books so we know where everything is we're not kind of uh, getting uh, having to pay late fines because we can't find the books they're all they're all in one basket keeps them nice and together right Side table here. I don't know if you can see me, maybe. Yeah. Side table. Right. Remember, I'm behind you. And just keep going. I hope you are working along with me. You're not meant to be watching me, you're meant to be doing something. But I'm coming to check. Are you working? You better. If you want to do 
your dad staying somewhere away, that's fine, but just be careful. And if you're saying, oh, well, Diane's not dusting properly because you got it. Just be careful. Are you actually getting your dusting done? Or are you spending the whole day dusting one thing and you're not getting anything else done? You've got to get some, some balance here. Uh, hold on, let me turn you around again and then we're going to do windows. Right, I'm going to do the windows. Generic window cleaner, quick squish squish. I went down with my fly lady uh, purple feather duster and I, I do the, the windows by zone. I do the inside of the windows. When I'm doing my zone cleaning that way, I make sure I've got to get all the windows done. Anyway, let's get on with that. as you can don't, don't worry about having to get the whole window because I'm doing these once a month so they never get that bad last one there we are oh step on my tiptoes Here's our teapot. Give that a wee polish on the outside. Right, and then I'm going to go in and do the door. We've got a, a glass door down here. again uh, I could do the um, I did the uh, ceilings I did the skirting board baseboards whatever you want to call them I, I dusted off the flat surfaces I also did the legs of the furniture today um, and I've done the windows and, and the door there now remember if you've got health issues don't don't you don't need to even go for 15 minutes at a time you just go for five minutes you can get so much done uh, but I did say to you I want to do a wee declutter, so let me just grab my uh, pamper basket. Okay, I've grabbed my pamper basket and the one, the cloths that I was using for doing my cleaning, uh, I'll, I'll throw those in the wash. Let me just throw them, whoop, whoop, <laughs> throw them over there so I don't forget. Uh, so this is my pamper basket um, and, and in here I keep things that I'm kind of reading which aren't from uh, the library. That We've got a library basket and I've got my pamper basket. So in here I've got... Oh, some things I'll tell you about another time, next time we're in bathroom zone. Uh, my cordless headphones, you know, I love my cordless headphones. I use them all the time when I'm cleaning, working at the garden, so those are, those get to stay. Uh, and here I've got, one, two, three, uh, I've got catalogues. Uh, in, in Denmark, it's very important for us that everybody is kind of educated, and we have a lot of uh, offers on um, you know, uh, very reasonably priced uh, evening classes. Everybody goes to evening classes in Denmark, whether it's a language or learning an instrument or uh, learning about architecture, or going guided tours. So I'm, I'm looking through those. Uh, I've mentioned before, um, I often go to Swedish uh, evening classes because we've got the, the summer cabin, uh, the weekend cabin in Sweden. So that, that kind of keeps my brain fresh. So, so I'm, I'm going to keep looking through those to decide what I want to do this this winter season uh, and oh this is a program from uh, the circus I went to the circus it's not a, it's 
not an animal circus, it was a human circus uh, with my friend Anne-Marie uh, two weeks, was it last week or two weeks ago? Fantastic time. Anyway, um, th this was the catalogue uh, from the circus, but I, I, don't need to, I, I don't need to hold on to it. So that we're going to paper recycling. Uh, and a local newspaper, I read them and then straight out. Uh, this one, this is actually a really nice story. I see, I see these people all the time. In our uh, council, the old people's homes, um, there are a lot of people volunteer to come and uh, cycle with residents. Maybe they can't cycle anymore, uh, or they've got difficulties with coordination. So they have these special bikes. Um, some of them are electric bikes. Most of them are just push pedal bikes. And they cycle around the council with the, um, the residents of the old people. So and I think that's so sweet. I quite often see them out, or, out doing some shopping. There we are. Oh, anyway, so that can also go in paper recycling. And I've got some books here. And actually, they, these can all go. These were books that I've either picked up at, or we have a free book exchange here in our area. There are lots of different um, pillars around the council got solar panels on the top uh, so they're kind of lit up uh, 24 hours a day and you can hand in books or take a book um, so it's a great way in, instead of throwing things out you know passing things on uh, this is one uh, which asked the Lindgren you know the uh, Emile from Lundberg uh, and, and it's nice but I'm, I'm going to Take that to the book exchange. Some family uh, will love that. Uh, Millie Molly Mandy. I'm going to take that back to the close-up party. I've enjoyed going down memory lane with Millie Molly Mandy, but it's time for her to move on to somebody else. And this one, oh, this was another one, I think, that I got the close-up party. And I, I know that I'm not going to read it. It's too dark. I know it's a Danish classic, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm not going to read it. So that one can also go. Uh, Atomic Habits, you know I love this book, we've talked about this many times, I like to dip into that occasionally and normally I always say there's a place, there's a place in hell for people who turn down pages of books but this is my own book uh, and it's nice to refer back to and otherwise in my, my uh, pamper, this is my wee pamper basket, uh, I've got uh, hand cream, I sometimes like to sit and uh, you know just put in some hand cream, a wee uh, emery board, uh, oh, and I've got my little book. This is a, a wee book that I got from the kids. I don't know if you remember. I got it for Christmas. It's one of those ones. <gasps> Hold on. There we are. It changes from silver to gold. And in here, if it's something like Eurovision, you know, with the voting and things like that, I, I, I like to kind of keep scores and see who's going to win and predict. It. So this is my wee book, uh, my, my little black notebook or silver gold notebook for that. Uh, and I think that's about it. So that's actually not too bad. So these are going to keep... Oh, there's the timer. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, right, so that's me done. These are going to go in the um, clothes swap party or book exchange, paper recycling, uh, and I shall put away my little cleaning caddy. Uh, and, and I just want to point out here, because I, I get an awful lot of questions about how I set up weekly on blessing hour versus Zoom cleaning. If you see me doing like 15 minutes or 10 or 15 minutes of cleaning in here, uh, you know, whether it be a Monday or Tuesday or whatever day, I don't do my weekly home blessing hour at the same day. Okay, we're not, not going overboard with things. You see, you saw me, I, I did the windows in here. That, that was part of weekly home blessing hour where it's like shine mirrors, windows, doors, anything glass. But I don't kill myself uh, going, you know, for hours and hours with the cleaning. I, I do this and then, and, and also with the zone cleaning thing, I do maybe 15 minutes at the beginning of the week. I don't do 15 minutes every day, absolutely not. Um, what I often will, will happen is, you know, when I'm in this room anyway the rest of the week, if, if I'm watching telly, I might look through the DVD collection that we've got or um, another day I might turn around the cushions on the sofa, fluff those up. I'm not spending 15 minutes in here every day. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to get going because I'm going down with Vibica for a skinny dip. And yes, skinny dipping means the same as it does in your country. That's um, naked swimming in the sea all year round. It's win Danish winter bathing. I've made videos about that. You can find them on YouTube. Anyway, uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. I shall probably pop up and see you tomorrow. All I want to say is live long and prosper. Give yourself a pom-pom shake or a pom-pom salute. 
a wee pat on the back. Um, may the Danish sugar be with you and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.